Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Austin Code Cipher back again with a simple tutorial. So, before we start off this tutorial, I'd like to thank you guys for the support you're showing to my channel. Thanks a lot. And back to business. Now, a lot of guys, basically my friends, have been asking me, hey, guys who are using the WAMP server have the console panel where they can write their sql queries and they are like connected to this interface you're seeing here but for us who are using exam we are lacking that interface the only place we can use for writing queries is coming to this interface go to the sql or short for structured query language and we write in this console they provided in the interface but how will we print out the courseworks tests which are being given to us the same applies to me because um same user who is using exam so how can i get also a console and when i talk of a console guys who are using windows i don't know for you guys on mac but if you're using windows on your keyboard there is this window button and r so press window button and r at the same time and such a run up box will come right cmd and place ok or enter on your keyboard and such a black shell will be provided to you and i'm going to first leave this side i'm going to go to this computer all guys who are using windows 7 you will see my computer here so for guys on 10 you will see this computer i'm going to do it like this so we are inside the parent directory is c which is local disk c here and as you can see we are in users and also this folder what we need to do is to go back to c and here we say change directory cd and backslash place enter and right now we are in the parent directory which is here so we need to enter this default folder which is installed when you're installing exam so we say change directory exam so we want to enter exam and place enter make sure you write the same spelling so we are inside exam and inside exam we want to enter my sql my structured query language so you say cd my sq sql and place enter so we are inside this folder and inside this folder we want to enter bin so here we say cd bin and place enter so the moment we reach here then we start writing a command that will connect to this interface let me do it like this because I'm going to be showing you other stuffs. Let me reduce on the size. So, the first command we write is my SQL, SQL, and say dash u. So dash u stands for user. And still, I'm going to press the control button R, and I look for Notepad because I want to show you something here what other guys get confused of when i said dash u and i say it's for the user if you are to check here where you're seeing my cursor moving we are seeing user and we have root at localhost so that means the user is going to be root the same stuff when you're having an account on gmail you'll be like team at gmail.com it doesn't mean all this is a user name the username is team so that's the one we want here so here the user we want is root right root space say dash p the same applies here so p dash p stands for password and for this case if you have no password there just leave and continue to the next step which will be dash h but for this case i'm having a password here so i will write my password the same after p 
I write the password to my database. So my database has a password. I'm going to space and write the password to my database, which is Austin Code Cipher. So that's the database. I will say dash H. H stands for host. So for the host, if you have ever opened or signed for a website, the place which is having the host, you always put there the IP address or the server IP address. And here, if you are to see here, our server IP address is 127.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
right click and say paste so basically this is what the lecturer wants you to print so we can take off these basic commands so the lecturer want to see this command show database and how the databases were displayed and show him create database youtube so he will also want to see all these commands so when you're done just go to file and print so basically that's how also exam users can connect to the interface and use this black shell as their control panel so guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe always like the videos share them on different social medias and as always subscribe peace